Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you an NFL matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Baltimore Ravens. Now, let's start with the Buccaneers off offense and what they have to do in order to win this game on the road, tough place to play. Um, but Tampa Bay has to come in and look at what they do well. They can spread teams out, and that's what you have to do against the Baltimore Ravens. You spread out the Ravens. You make these guys cover all angles of the field. You also don't want to get married to a target. If you allow yourself to get married to a target, what I mean by that is, okay, we're going to Mike Williams, we're going to Mike Williams, we're going to Mike Williams. No, because what's going to happen, you're going to find Ed Reed slowly drifting over there and making plays on the ball and disrupting the passing game. So you don't want to get married to a target. Keep these guys covering the entire field by spreading the football around, and that way you're going to be able to win offensively. You also want to run downhill. Do not run east and west against the Ravens. They have speed to chase down run plays. Run downhill. That's going to chew up some clock. That's going to get these guys to be less aggressive against the pass and focus on the run because you have a big back in LeGarrette Blunt. Also, you want to stay ahead of the chains. That's going to keep the offense of the Ravens off the field. That's going to keep your defense off the field, especially uh, your run defense, and it's going to allow you to control the pace of the game. Defensively, you got to continue to work better against the run. You guys were active against the run. You did well against San Francisco. You have to keep up that effort against Ray Rice and company and also Willis McGahee because the Ravens can run the football. So that's the big thing. Stay active against the run. And you look at the matchup be between Akib Talib and Bolden. If Talib can, Talib can control Bolden in his passing game, that's going to force Flacco to go to other targets. And I... Take my chances with Hus Mazada against Rondé Barber, uh, against Rondé Barber, against Hus Mazada. So you want to take away Bolden, and that all falls on Akib Talib to manhandle Bolden at the line of scrimmage. Now also, Baltimore, coming to this game, you don't want to get the itch to get pass happy. You know the Bucks still have some leakage in that run defense. Don't allow yourself to get pass happy. Don't make yourself one-dimensional. You do have a talent to tell back in Ray Rice. You have a huge offensive line that could take advantage of the interior defensive line out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so don't get too pass happy. Don't get that itch to want to throw the football all over the place. And you want to control the pace of the game. I just mentioned that. That's how you control the pace. You dictate how you want this game to go. Running the football, operate off play action, time shots deep down the field. That's how you control the pace of this game. And you want to attack the middle defense of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In between the safety and linebackers in the passing game, the running game down the middle of the field, attack the entire middle of that Bucks defense. Now defensively, I look at Air Reed versus Josh Freeman. Freeman this is in his second year. Air Reed is a wildly vet future Hall of Famer. He has to read the eyes of Josh Freeman and make plays on the ball. Because if he allows Freeman to make these passes, it's going to be a long day for the secondary. So it's up to Air Reed to put an end to everything and make plays on the young quarterback, Josh Freeman. And Haloti Nada must be a force in this game. He has to live on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. He has to be a disruptive force for that Bucks offensive line. He has to command a double team because what's that going to do? Free up that edge rusher in Terrell Suggs to get after the quarterback and cause problems for the entire Tampa Bay offense. So Haloti Nada has to step up big this week and be a disruptive force in the middle of that Bucks offensive line. This is going to be a statement game. I'm going with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bucks have to make a statement. They're going to get this going on the road. The reason why I'm going well, feel confident going with the Bucks in this matchup, the Bucks have with the Ravens, has the Ravens kryptonite, a team that can operate out the spread formation. The Bucks can spread you out. The Ravens, when they play teams that spread them out, they effectively lose. And so the Bucks are going to come in on the road, take control of the game with their passing game, mix in a little bit of a run, and they're going to force Baltimore to be one-dimensional and get away from their strength, which is running the football. So look for Tampa to come in and spread out the Ravens and win this game with their passing game. Free big statement game for Josh Freeman and the Buccaneers. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.